up and coming local player that wants to take his game to a new level. I'm gonna do everything I can to help him with that. But we're gonna play a little bit. Where's your eye guards? Ah, nice. I like that. Always prepared. Always at the ready. All right, get served up. Take your time. All right. Think about patience and execution. Good lines, good cross courts. Limit the mistakes. Work hard. We just worked on that, right, for about 30 minutes. So what'd you do wrong there? What should you have done? I mean, it's zero, zero, right? But let's play at a high percentage level. All right, that's what the line's there for. Two bounces before the back wall. Oh. Zeros. Yeah, those you have to recognize early that it's gonna be tight like that. One zero. Center. Come on, get back. Don't reach. Get behind it and then shuffle into it. Ah, you could have shot. Be aggressive. Get that. So you kind of watch what you did. You got lost in the rally in the moment. Instead of engaging and thinking about executing the shot, your brain was saying, oh, just let me get the ball back. All right, that's not good enough. Think about moving, just play the ball. Get to the ball, attack, hit the shot. Shuffle into it. Oh, that was good. All right, better footwork, right? We just got caught. We swung down a little bit on it. All right, engage those legs. Get a level swing on it. It's a tough one. When that ball is like on the side wall like this, try to get the frame of the racket so that the face is parallel to the front wall and just kind of drag it. Watch, do that without swinging at it. Right, get it behind it and then you're just gonna try to get it back, whatever you can. Patient, be patient, patient, attack. Good. Patient, attack. It was good, good approach, but now we skipped three, right? So make that adjustment. Come on. Oh, that was terrible. Short. Relax. Don't kill the racket. Don't choke it to death. Perfect. Excellent swing. Good job right there. Good adjustment. Right? So now feel that adjustment, what you did there versus the other three that you skipped. It's all you got to do. You don't have to roll that out. Two bounces before the back wall. All right, good. That was good, except there's one thing you did do that I didn't like. What'd you do? We just worked on it. That worked out. What? You didn't shuffle into it, right? You had a ton of space to get behind it and then move into it and shuffle into it and attack it. It looked like a really good shot, right? And we'll take that, but you took it from up here and rolled it. That's not gonna be a huge percent, high percentage shot moving forward, right? So think about the fundamentals. Get behind it, shuffle into it, let that ball drop into your power zone. Yeah, you, fit, you hit it from up here if you watch. Like, it's on video, you'll see. So it's a good shot, the end result works out, but let's stick and try to tighten up the fundamentals. Get out of the box. Come on, be patient. Good. Don't watch it. You hit it and you were watching like, ooh, I hit a good shot. No, no, get in there and engage. Come on. And remember, track the ball. Track it. Come on.
crappy shot gave you a chance to win that rally. Sorry. I mean, I'm not really sorry. You know, but too fast. Come on, hit a good shot. Good, excellent. Rocky would be proud. Ah, what'd you do? What'd you do? Simple. Huh? You just completely took your eye off the ball. So when you swung, you did that, and that ball's spinning into you. There's no way you're gonna make clean contact. That's one where you actually have to focus more on it. Ready, get set, hit this ball. Go ahead. Patient, wait. Ah, so see how, you, again, you didn't let the ball travel to you. Stay there, ready? Stay there, stay there. Go ahead, go get it. You see where the ball is? It's gonna get to you, right? Stay there. Go ahead. Right. I want you to shuffle into it. You attacked it too high, too, and then you lifted your head so you couldn't even see it. I'll give it to you. It skipped, but I want it to be like a real tournament. They're going to make bad calls, so. <laughs> oh, too fast again. Get that. You saw I was going to get it. Where were you? I'll slow it down. about executing shots, not just crushing balls. You naturally hit it hard. You got to control it. Keep it off the back wall. Ah. <clears throat> Keep it off the back wall, Bailey. Hitting hard with power is very important in this game, but it's when. It's when to use it. Okay? Same thing. If you're a boxer, the best knockout punch in the game. You're not just getting in and just trying to knock them out every time. It's, a, it's the same concept. Come on, execute. Execute. Good, better. Get set, get ready. Come on, get ready, get in it. Get in it, stay in it. Come on, patient, execute. Ah, okay, you won it, but could have been better. Should have been better, right? A little bit too much in the middle of the court. But that's not bad, good job. You're lucky. Track the ball. Keep tracking it, Bailey. Keep tracking it. You gotta see it. You gotta see it. Come on. Ah, uh, get behind it and then move into it. All right? So you did that, right? Ceiling ball went up. You had plenty of time, but you stayed here like this. Instead of as soon as it goes up, get back. Get in center court. Ready? As soon as this goes up, get back behind it. Ready? Go. Get back and back. Now shuffle in. Good. You waited. You stayed there and watched it. All right? As soon as that ball goes up, get back behind it and then move into it. Shuffle into it. Get back. Good. Excellent. That's perfect right there. That's a pro cross court right there. That's going to win you more points, more games, more matches. Good shot. Excellent shot. Take your time. It's got to be good. 
Get ready. Yeah, I mean, you're supposed to, you know, as your level goes up, you're going to lose that. We're going to make you, the better the player is, we're going to make you pay for, you know, a crappy serve or a crappy shot. Your, your chances and opportunities as your levels go up become fewer. So you really have to execute them. So sometimes I have to make you pay for that. Come on. Good, get in it, get in it, get set, engage. Watch the ball. Good. Not bad. It was good, right? A little bit too, too much of the middle of the court though, right? Give me some deeper, wider lanes. Okay. All right. Keep it off the side wall. Come on, get in. Stay in the rally. Stay in it. Stay in it. Stay in it. Don't give up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Good shot here. Good. There you go. Don't give up. Stay in the point. You decide when the point's over. Don't let your opponent decide. Don't let the fans, the ref. You make a decision mentally and physically when I'm done with the point, it's over. Unless they roll it out, or, you know. But, but you stay in that. Stay mentally and physically engaged to the end. Go ahead. Come on. I literally miss hit that so bad, you almost got blasted. Like that was an accident. Miss hit it so bad. Yeah, I didn't move my feet and it just kind of stuck. <laughs> Sorry about that. Almost. Good. Excellent. That's what you got to make them pay for. Off the back wall is a setup every time. Ball comes off the back wall, any level, it's a setup. I don't care how fast, how low, how hard. You're set. Come on, get back, get back. Stay in it, stay in it. Come on, get that. Ah, don't do that. Got plenty of drills for those, right? Rally ending cuts. You know, most of the time right now at your level, your opponent's gonna get in the box. They're gonna call the score. And they're going to hit a drop serve to your backhand. If that's not good, the second serve is going to be a lob serve to your backhand. So I'm going to push you and hit different ones also. But then also we obviously work on what we know is going to come right now at your level. But as your level goes up, we're hitting all sorts of serves, different serves, different angles, different spots in the box. Don't reach for it. Move your feet. Right? See that last one that you didn't shuffle into it? You kind of reached and went like that. You could have shuffled one more time. When it's coming off the back wall, it's slowing down. So no matter what happens, when the ball bounces and hits, it's slowing down. The fastest it is, is when it's coming directly at you. Go get it. Come on, be patient. Execute a shot here. Stay with it. Come on, come on, stay in it. You're not, you're not done yet. Good. Come on, come on, go get that. Good, you're still in it. Good, good reset. Ah, that's what we're looking for. Patience, recognition, execution. That's exactly what we're going to clean up. That's exactly what I wanted you to do. Go for too much at the wrong time. You did everything great. That just wasn't the time to go for that shot. You'll learn that with more time, more experience. But you kind of probably mentally were doing it. I was there. I'm like, I'm going to crush this one as hard as I can and end the rally. And then that happens. So you got to be a little more patient then recognize when the right shot is, and then execute the right shot. 
So we just went for the low. Now, if it's 13-0, you're winning, go for it, have at it. But as you're learning and training and trying to get the fundamentals to the highest level, that's where we gotta, we gotta clean that up. That's one of the biggest differences between the higher levels and like good amateur levels is patience, recognition, and execution. You want some water? Or do you just want oxygen? A little bit of both. So yeah, that's it. I'll shut this off. That's Bailey. He's making uh, some tremendous headway here and appreciate it. Uh, don't forget, check out the page, Atlanta, Nashville, Chicago, all coming up. Look for Bailey. He'll be playing uh, some tournaments coming up as well. We're getting him ready. And uh, thanks, everybody. And don't forget, you want to be part of the L first ever LPR.